Windows 11 is one of the most stable operating systems you can use, but sometimes it throws up errors that regular users can't quite figure out how to solve. My name is Adullah. You're watching Candido Technology, and in this video, we're talking about the 0x800F081F error code, which, as you can probably guess, you would have no idea what it means. So the first thing that we're going to do to fix this is uh, we are going to enable the .NET framework. Now to do this, press the start menu and search for enable windows features, uh, so turn windows features on and off. This will appear right here. Click on it. And in here, uh, you will see that the .NET 3.5 framework is actually disabled. What we're going to do is click on it to make sure that it's enabled you can also expand this box and enable additional services you don't really need that here but if you continue getting the error just make sure you enable them just in case and uh, go ahead and click ok uh, windows update will uh, download the files for you and uh, that's it once the download and installation is complete restart your system and you'll be good to go Next up, we're going to run uh, SFC and DISM, two system tools that check uh, if there are any missing or corrupt files on your system. So to do this, uh, press, up the st uh, press the start menu and search for command prompt and then click on run as administrator. Give Windows the permissions that it needs. And in here, I'm going to run SFC slash scan now. Type in this command and then press enter. This will scan your system for any missing files, anything of the sort, anything that can go wrong. And once this command has run, I need you to go back and run this command, which is dism slash online slash cleanup image slash check help. What this command does is that it cleans up your Windows installation, checks its health, checks for any missing or corrupt files and then replaces them so running these two commands periodically is also a good um, sort of maintenance technique that you can try to make sure that your windows installation doesn't run into any problems and if you're experiencing this particular error code uh, running these two commands can also come in handy next up we're going to run the windows update troubleshooter to do this, press Windows key plus I to open Windows settings. Uh, and here I am just going to search for troubleshoot. And then this will uh, uh, show an option which says available recommended troubleshooters. We'll go ahead and click on it. Then click on other troubleshooters. And you should see the Windows uh, update troubleshooter right here. Go ahead and run it. Uh, we're running this troubleshooter simply because Windows Update should be able to automatically replace and fix any files that may be missing on your system that can cause errors like this. So uh, if Windows Update hasn't been able to do that, there is a chance that something might be wrong with Windows Update itself. So go ahead and uh, click run. Let the troubleshooter run and detect any problems, any pending restarts that you might have uh, for uh, this particular version or installation of your windows and uh, if it finds any problems it will automatically fix them which is great because that means your error will get fixed as well moving on it's always a good idea to also check the windows update service in such cases so to do that we're pressing the start menu searching for services and then opening the services app on windows so what we're looking for here is the windows update service which is right here at the bottom so if i right click this and click on properties you can see that the startup type is set to automatic and the service is running what we're going to do is reset this so you can do this with a command prompt command as well but if you don't want to worry about commands this is how you do it uh, click on stop then change uh, this to manual click apply click ok and once you're done restart your system once the restart is complete come back to this window make sure that you click the start button to run the service and that you set the startup type to automatic not automatic delayed start 
just automatic save your changes once again and uh, that should be it that should fix your problem if you've made it this far into the video and have not been able to find a solution for your problem uh, unfortunately you're going to have to reset your windows 11 installation now to do this press windows key plus i head over to system right here and then we are going all the way down to recovery here you will see the option to reset your pc we're going to go ahead and click reset and then you can choose to either keep your files or remove everything and start afresh alternatively if you don't want to reset your pc per se you can use this option so fix problems using windows update which reinstalls the current version of windows that you have on your system which means your apps files and settings everything gets preserved but uh, your entire windows reinstallation is essentially refreshed so that should also help in case you don't want to try a reset out if reinstalling windows uh, with this method doesn't work you can just click the reinstall now button to get started you're going to have to come back and then reset your windows installation and that's it if you follow these steps the error code should go away by this point if you like watching these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video